Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers, labor, and worldwide, in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the word, say Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And I came across a video on World Star. And I know uh, some brothers, maybe some sisters, have seen it. But this guy, you know, is totally lost. Okay, he's drunk off Babylon juice. Okay, and and these things have been before. All right, he's just playing out again, real quick. Let's go to First Maccabees. Because when you hear, you know, what this guy says, you'll see what I'm talking about. First Maccabees chapter 1, I believe 11. Okay. It reads, In those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Yeah, go after the ways, the customs. All right, because why our people wanted to be like the heathen, man. And, and it comes back full circle today. Let's play the video. You talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other, how to dislike each other. That's pretty much what it's going to, that's pretty much, I don't care what it's pretty much what it's going to all come down to. You're going to deliberately teach kids, this white kid right here got it better than you because he white? You're going to personally tell a white kid, oh, the black people are all down and suppressed. How do I have two medical degrees if I'm sitting here oppressed? How do I get, first of all, right? only got five. See that? This guy said, how can I have two medical degrees and be oppressed? Right? So this is one of the one of the Jake that went to the heathen to do after their own license, man, do after their own ordices. Alright? He's clearly drunk on Babylon juice, man. Right? Matter of fact. Real quick. You know, he trusts in oppression. He, he he's he's oh, man, you know, and that's why <laughs> the Lord got to come and destroy this place. That's why he has to take, you know, uh, our people out. Matter of fact, uh, the whole head is sick. Yeah, let's get that right quick. Because that's what you're saying, man. The whole head is sick. Right? This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 1 and verse 5. Yeah, this is what the Lord said. Matter of fact. Yeah. Let's start at verse 3. It says, The ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doeth not know what they don't know. They don't know who they are according to the scriptures, right? My people do of not consider, this guy is not considering at all, right? It says, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, see? They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. 
they have gone away backward. You see, this guy has gone away backward, right? This guy right here, he's going away backward, man. He has no sense of, of who he is, all right, in America. He's happy, all right, and look what he's catering to, a room full of Edomites, man. A room full of Edomites. He's happy to be here in America. He, like he said, how can I be oppressed, right? <laughs> and I have two doctors, you know, two medical degrees, all right? The fact that you got to say you got two medical degrees prove that you oppressed, man. You got to uh, make a statement like that. Verse 5, why should you be stricken anymore? Yeah, why should the Lord keep punishing you, right? You will revolt more and more. Yeah, and that's what this guy doing. He's revolting more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. That means his mind is gone, right? That word heart goes back to the Hebrew word love, which means your mind. Well, his mind is gone, totally gone. Lost in the south of Babylon. Guess what? What's sickening about this whole thing is what y'all doing right now is already something I do in my community right now to speak out against stuff because black folks are getting told by other black folks, oh, you know you ain't gonna be able to do nothing out there in the world because them white folks ain't gonna let you get no, oh, you know you're not gonna be able to do it here because you know, white, the, the white man, the white man gonna keep you down. Well, how did I get where I am right now if some white man kept me down? How am I? Because you went the way of the oppressor. You see, this guy is, is just, just, just gone, man. Totally gone. Right? The Lord says he's going to choose your delusion. Right? Matter of fact. Uh, let's get that. Let's get that real quick. Uh, not that one. It's another one. Let's see. I want to say, bear with me. All right, so like you, uh, Isaiah 66. Uh, okay. It's the Lord choosing their delusion. All right. Yep. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 4. I also will choose their delusions, you see? I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and choose that wherein that that in which I delighted not. You see, this guy chose <laughs> medical degrees and, and the way of ease. So look how proud this dude is, man. And we know the Lord hates pride, right? Again, the Lord chose this guy's delusion. That's why he feels like he's not oppressed, right? Matter of fact, let's get this word delusion. Simple Google definition, Right? Delusion. It says, um, an idiosacred, uh, idiosacred belief or impression that is firmly maintained. See that? He firmly maintains he's not <laughs> oppressed. That is firmly maintained despite being contradicted. You see? Getting shot down in the street. You being uh, arrested and, and persecuted falsely, all right, hundreds upon hundreds of false arrests just to get you in prison, right? But you're not oppressed, okay? It says, or impression that is firmly maintained despite being contradicted by what is generally accepted as reality. It is reality. You ever heard a thing called redlining, Jim Crow laws, right? You know, these things are ingrained. Hell, the 13th Amendment. If you break a law, you become a slave again. And that's for who? You so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are oppressed here in America. 
It says rational argument, typically a symptom of a mental of mental disorder. You see, this guy is totally gone in the mind. The Lord has chose his delusion. It says typically a symptom of mental disorder. See that? So what you seeing here? This guy has a mental disorder. This guy is totally gone, man. Right? Well, how did I get where I am right now if some white man kept me down? How am I now directing over folks that look just like you guys in this room right now? How? What what, what kept me down? What oppressed me? I work for myself from off the streets to where I am right now. You gonna sit here and tell me this lie? A critical race theory? Of uh, this 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 the reason why black folks can't get ahead because of white folks? Are you kidding me? This is what we come to now. I can't believe we're even talking about this right now. The last thing I'm gonna say right here is something that's crazy. Martin Luther King said he wanted his kids to grow up in a world where they are judged by the contents of their, what? Character. Their character, not their skin. Yeah, if they let this stuff go on right now, it is absolutely doing the complete reverse of what he's doing. So when February comes... See? And I can't stomach much more of this crap, man. You know. I, you know, the whole head is sick. Why she <laughs> revolt anymore? Right? The Lord just got to kill your ass. Stand in the book of Isaiah. That's it, man. Stand in the book of Isaiah, chapter 30. The Lord just got to kill your ass, man. That's the only way you're going to get it. That's the only way you're going to come back into your right mindset. Because you got a mental disorder. <laughs> Isaiah, chapter 30. I'm going to start it. I'm going to jump down uh, once we get to reading this at the top. Isaiah 31. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Yeah, man, you can tell in this guy's speech, he's one of those moles, all right? But he's covering with a, with a covering of Esau. He's uh, trying to abide and dwell in Esau's kingdom. Right? Those same spirits back. That walk to go down into Egypt. See? That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. See, I got two I got two metal degrees. How can I be oppressed? I'm I am i am over guys that look like you. I'm over you see that? They walk down to go into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, to trust in the shadow of Egypt. You see that? This guy trusts in this oppression, and it's going to be his downfall. It says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. But when a man crash, right? And, 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 and you can't feed your baby, and it's a, it's a massive famine going on what you gonna do then what you gonna do right you've been calling out to these other gods matter of fact real quick before we continue let me get some let me hold some over here and we'll come back because that's that's what's gonna happen okay back in isaiah chapter 30 and uh, verse 7, for the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this, their strength is to sit still. Now go and write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for a time to come forever and ever. That this is a rebellious people, lying children children that will not hear the law of the lord you see we say to the seers see not and in and, and a roundabout way he was talking about the prophets i see guys on the street in my community every day telling me that you're you're oppressed because you're you're black and and and, and uh and a white man this and a white man that well where he get that from right it says we say to the seers see Seer is an, uh, another word for prophet, right? We say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not 
unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. Yeah, we can all get along. That's a deceit. All right, and he 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 mentioned Martin Martin Luther King, right? Martin Coon King, whatever you know. But this guy said at the end that he he felt that he integrated us into a burning house, right? Because it was all about dollars, man. It wasn't about anything else. They seen uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans prospering, right? With, but not of a covering of your how by shout shy, and that's why the Lord. <laughs> rose up that spirit of Esau to, to take you down again, right? To stop that. But again, the, this guy, he's trusting in oppression. Verse 11, get you out the way, turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Yeah, I want to hear that. I want to hear we oppress. I want to hear uh, uh, my brothers getting shot down on the street. I want to hear redlining. Look at me. I did it. I made it. Well, you trusted in your oppressor. You didn't cry out by way of the oppressor. Isaiah 30 and 12. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word, see, and trust in oppression, see, and perverseness, Esau, you know, and stay thereon. Yeah, you abiding. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, who breaking come of suddenly at an instant. And it's going to happen to this guy. All right. You think he's going to uh, be around them when, when the race wars and the class, class wars pop off? Nah, man. This guy going to be the first one taken out. And uh, he's going to be crying to the Lord and that day and the Lord is not going to hear him. Judges chapter 10. And verse 14, go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. You see, let's read this again. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. And he's chosen Esau as his God, man. All right. He's chosen the ways of this world as his God. He don't feel like he's oppressed. He don't feel like. Uh, his people all right, are, are at a bottom because of systematic racism, all right? Why? Because this guy loves his oppressor, all right? He, he loved the ways of the Greeks the best, okay? Again, it reads, Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation, all right? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, great millstone. Lord willing, coming to you a lesson. Till the next time, I say, Shalom.